This is Sports Center of the Miami Hurricane, Justin Answell. I'm joined by redshirt junior center Julian Gamble. Jules, good to see you. It's, it's amazing to think we both came in in 2007 as freshmen. It's amazing how time flies. Yeah, time definitely flies. I mean, I, I think about coming in my freshman year and coming to all these orientations, and, and four years later almost, I'm about to graduate in May, so it's really exciting. Uh, just tell me about, first off, your health, first of all. You have a little nicked up lower extremity right now. I mean, what, what, what's the latest with your prognosis? Yeah, well, I had a, um, I had surgery on my knee about uh, four weeks ago, but I'm back on the practice court now and just trying to get my get my win back, get back in shape, and get my timing back. Just happy to be back out there with my teammates. Will you be 100% by the exhibition opener against Barry on Wednesday? Yeah, I definitely think I'll be 100%. I mean, just today will be my third practice, and I think I'm getting closer and closer to 100% every day. But just putting in extra work and overtime after practice is really going to help me out a lot. Let's talk about the expectations with this team this year. Really finished strong in the ACC tournament last year, opened up some eyes. You think that momentum can carry over to this year? I think it can. I think it will. I mean, I think everybody has the, the common goal of getting back to that point and even further to the ACC championship game. And I think with the team we have, uh, the guys that did it last year, along with some really good newcomers, will have a good chance to do it again. What kind of veteran leadership are you providing to some of the underclassmen on this team? I just kind of try to show them what the, what the vet showed me when I was a freshman and I first coming in, just how to work, the things to do, just to be able to listen and be coachable. That's the most important things in the college game, to listen to your coach and just to play hard and everything else to take care of yourself. Coach Haith has been known to kind of redshirt big men. What did you learn in your redshirt year that you can share with maybe a guy like maybe Donovan Kirk last year when he redshirted? Well, I talked to Donovan a lot, and me and Donovan had conversations about now that he hasn't redshirted and Raphael's a freshman, he'll pass down that knowledge to the next guy the same way Anthony King and Jimmy Graham and Ray Hicks passed that information to me. So I think it's a never-ending cycle with when you have the veterans pass down the information to the young guys, and then the young guys become the veterans and do the same thing. How, how good are the are the big men going to be? Let's start with um, with you personally. What did you work on this off season when you were healthy and able to practice? Well, I worked a lot on my on my skill set, on my dribbling, on my shooting, and things like that, and and just being more of a presence on the defensive end. I mean, stepping up, taking more charges, trying to block more shots, and things like that. How about Donovan Kirk? I mean, what what can fans expect from him? Nobody's seen him yet. Uh, fans can expect a lot from Donovan. Donovan works extremely hard. I mean, he he's very quick. He can shoot the ball. He can drive the ball. I mean, he's an improved passer. I think he, he brings the total package to the court. How about Big Reg, or maybe Slim Down Reg? I mean, he, yeah. Coach said he's lost 56 pounds in his time here. Um, just how good of a player is Reggie Johnson? Reggie's a really good player. I mean, he has a lot of talent. And uh, like Coach was saying, he wasn't very highly recruited, as, as much of us weren't until recently with the new guys. But Reggie's just, he's, he's a great player. I mean, he gets in the pain, and he shoots high percentage shots. He doesn't always shoot the ball. He passes just as well as he shoots. I mean, he's just a, a complete unselfish, and he's a really good player. What can Rafael Akpajori bring to the table as a youngster? I think he'll bring a lot to the table. I mean, I think when he comes to the game, he'll bring a lot of energy. I think he'll bring some additional shot blocking and just, just being relentless. I mean, Rafael plays so hard. It's just it's kind of contagious that when you see him play so hard that everybody else just wants to lay, raise their level of play as well. Coach Hay talked about having a new-look offense. How is that going to work this, this year? How, how is it different? Uh, I think our offense is, is a lot better. I mean, it's a lot more movement. It's a lot speed oriented. It's not so much so much detail as it was in the past, but it gives everybody a chance to do what they do best. It gives a, a big man a chance to post up, and it gives the wings a chance to drive. So I think it'll be really helpful with our team. Give give Hurricanes fans one player on this squad that maybe will open up some eyes that maybe not everybody's talking about right now. Uh, I think Gary has played really well last year, but I think the role he's going to play this year is, is is very different. I mean, just the player I see Gary is turning into be, with even being at home from North Carolina, I seen him over the summer while we were at home and working, and just the improvements that he's constantly made, I think Gary's going to open a lot of eyes. How about the out-of-conference out of schedule this year, Julian? It's a lot tougher than it was last year. You've got games, Memphis right off the bat, Ole Miss, West Virginia, Rutgers. Uh, you think that's going to help you prepare better for the ACC? I definitely think it'll help us prepare better for the ACC and just knowing my teammates and talking to them, we're all excited for the opportunity. We want to challenge the schedule to show people early how good of a team we really are. Team kind of struggled on the road last year. You're going to change uh, something up a little bit, 0-8 in the road in the ACC, maybe new new room service, new new, new restaurants, Julian? I don't really think we'll, we'll try to change much. Just stick to what we know, but I know we can play better on the road. And I think it's just a mindset to really go in somebody else's home court and steal a game. Just like we have to protect our home court, we have to go steal a couple on the road to be successful in the ACC. And Julian, what's this team going to be known for most? When, when fans look at Miami from afar, what are they going to say about the Miami Hurricanes? I mean, they're just going to talk about how hard we play. We, we're a very relentless team overall. 
I think we're a very good running team. I think we play really good defense as well. I mean, I think people just see us flying around and making spectacular plays, and they'll, they'll really know us for that. Jules, thanks so much. Stay healthy and look forward to seeing you on the court this year. That's Redshirt Center, Julian Gamble, Redshirt Junior Center, Julian Gamble. This is Sports Editor of the Miami Hurricane, Justin Antwell.